Hello everyone, this is Mitch Sherwood, and we are talking about SimCity Build It, specifically clubs and arena levels. What does A1 mean? What does Arena 1 mean? What does A6 mean? Arena 6? How to join clubs, how to choose a club, and how to choose an arena level. Alright, so my city is level 18, and in order to join clubs, your city has to be a minimum of level 18, and your age has to be 13 or higher. Okay, so if you're if you uh, are level uh, age 11 and you told SimCity that, you're not going to be able to join clubs. So for those of you who are 13 or older, here we go. When you first turn level 18, I think there's a prompt that tells you to join a club. For example, if I try to join a warm up here, it has a button that pops up that says join club or I can actually click this little chat window here and it goes to the join a club browsing interface. All right, so let's join a club. I'm going to browse around here and it's important to first of all read everything and then click on these clubs before you join. There's a lot of information on this screen. So I have this clubs with friends. I have Facebook friends on SimCity that I've connected with and then we have several clubs that they're part of. If you have Facebook friends and they're in a club, that's the best way to get started. But if you don't, then you have clubs in your country, clubs in your language, clubs active in club wars, clubs active in club challenge, social clubs, trading clubs, and recently active clubs. All right, and I am interested in clubs that are active in club wars. Now, when I look at this, you can see the name of the club, how many members it has out of 25. I'm not sure what this number means, actually. It's a little green plum bob. Maybe that's how many plum bob points they've gained, but I'm, I'm not exactly sure how that's um, acquired. And then here it has, oh, here, the club hashtag to differentiate this if, in case some clubs have the same name. Then the club arena level. The arena level is very important. Okay, uh, the arena level goes from one to six. There are six arena levels. And if you're first getting started on club wars, I recommend that you join an arena level one club. Okay, I'm gonna do that right now. Let me just click on, actually this is, a, it looks like a Spanish speaking club, Tikishia club, but I'm gonna go ahead and join it anyway. We'll see what happens here. It shows you the members of the club. And to fully complete this process, you need to click on this club chat button here. Otherwise, the club members are not going to be able to see that you joined, and you're not going to have all of the features of the club yet. So I'm clicking on club chat, and I can see here the recent messages that have been posted. That was a message posted seven hours ago, and then one day ago, and you can read up and see the general culture of the club, what language they're speaking, etc. And then if you can read their language, you can find out maybe what they've been talking about. And if this club doesn't suit you, then you should browse around for more clubs. Now, let me show you a bit better way to browse for clubs. So when you're browsing for clubs, you can actually click on the club name. Here's an arena level, another arena level one club, and I can click on the club name, and then I can see what their priorities are. This club's priorities are club challenge, club wars, chat, and trade. Their preferred language is Dutch. Okay, so I don't necessarily want that. Uh, let me go back and find clubs in my language. Clubs in my language here. This is arena four, this is arena six. I wanna join arena one, so I click refresh. Here's one that's in my language. It's called Trade Central. Their priorities are trade, so that's not war. Okay, so it might take a while for you to find the club that is right for you. But for the purposes of this, I'm just going to pretend that this Dutch VIP fits my culture. And I'm going to click join. Okay, so now I'm in this club. Now, the arena levels. What does it mean to be an A1? I'm going to click on the, the star down here and go to the war map. This is arena level one. 
your club is currently playing on arena level one is usually the first thing that pops up and if you're already in a level arena level one from a previous join you're going to um, just see this screen if you click on show me it shows you all of the different arena levels and then you can find out what it means to be in each arena level so if you're in arena level one which is probably where you're going to get started your victory war rewards for winning the war is going to be one platinum key, 10 sim cash, and 1,000 war simoleons. And you can click on this eye here and find out more details about this club. Okay, this is um, probably a topic for another video. So if you want to find out more about these things, please subscribe and I'll tell you more later. And then if you notice, I can go over here to the next arena level up and I can find out what happens here. It unlocks these boosters. Actually, I can probably go into all of this right now. Um, so in arena one, it's where people get started and there are no boosters. And you start with six energy. The shield triggers at 10, which means there's 10 health in each city. And then energy regeneration is one every 15 minutes. You can expect that an arena level one war, an A1 war, is going to be very slow pace. It's going to give you the time that you need when you're first getting started to produce your war items and do your war deliveries. So this is where you get started. And then as you go up in arena levels, more stuff gets unlocked. So this is a, a two. When this club, if this club is active, you can expect that if it has active members in every war, that this club is going to slowly progress up the levels from A1 to A2 to A3 and, and so on, on up, okay? And then eventually, if you're lucky, your club will get to, to A6. However, you actually do not need to stay in the same club you can potentially join any of these arena levels right from the very beginning if you're feeling brave i recommend that you start an a1 at least for one war and try that out and then if you're comfortable in war and you've been very active and you're not and you want to go to the next level then you can choose a different club and join an a2 club this a2 clubs it unlocks boosters boosters are a little bit more complicated than a war without boosters but Every arena level except for A1 has boosters in there. Jackpot 1 is going to be the most common booster you're going to see in A2. So from A1 all the way up to A4, generally it's you're not going to there the wars are not going to be very active. Most of the players are not going to be very active most of the time in these arena levels. It's only when you get to A5 that it starts becoming very active. Okay, A5 it has lots of boosters. Um, each 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 arena level up unlocks more and more boosters, and then the energy regeneration is every five minutes. So you get to do more war attacks in A5. So the, I have um, I've pre, I've done this before where I've taken a club from A1 all the way up to A5. And then some of the club members, the very first time they were ever attacked was all the way in A5. That's how um, inactive most of the wars were up until that point. Okay, so if you want to progress through the levels quickly, you should browse around for clubs often. Unless you make good friends with the people who are in the club with you, then you should browse around and advance quicker if you are an active player in all of these wars. But if you're friends, if you have a friend in the club, that's more beneficial than anything else. So I recommend you stick with your friend. All right, let's see if there's anything else that I need to cover. I think that's it for this video. We'll end it here. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you so much. And I hope to see you in the game. If you wanna see more of this video, or more videos and tips like this for introduction to wars please subscribe and you will get the notifications hopefully and i will post more videos in the future thanks everybody i hope to see you in the game